Hi everyone, how's life? And welcome to another one of my videos. Today I am in Disneyland Paris in front of the beautiful Newport Bay Club Hotel behind me. And we're gonna go inside, have a look, and just do a full tour of the hotel. So come along. One of my favorite things about Newport Bay Club is its beautiful theming. Even just from the outside, it kind of takes over Lake Disney with the beautiful lighthouse they've got going on here. And then the rooms inside, which we're gonna check out later on as well. They're so nicely themed. It really does give a New England look. Make sure you keep watching until the end of the video to see what the hotel looks like in the dark as well, because with all the lights lit up, it's almost even more magical. A lot of people think that this hotel would be more suited to the summer months. And I agree, I mean, in the hot, warmer weather, it probably makes a bit more sense, but I think even in winter months, the hotel is just too gorgeous to pass on. New Porpe is one of the two four-star hotels of Disneyland Paris, by the way, the other one, of course, being Hotel New York on the other side. So of course it has some facilities that some of the lower star hotels of Disneyland Paris don't have, such as a swimming pool and a gym and two restaurants instead of just the regular one. Here is a closer look at the exterior of Newport Bay Hotel. You've got the Newport Bay Club sign over there and then all the different rooms and restaurants as well. It's quite a large hotel, as I mentioned, the biggest hotel here on Disney property. But I just love the way it looks from the outside. It's, in my opinion, the prettiest hotel. I just love all the colors and the design of it as well. Now, one thing people often mention is that the Newport Bay Hotel Disneyland Paris reminds them a little bit of the Yacht and Beach Club in Disney World. And there's good reason for that because this hotel, the Newport Bay Club, was designed by Robert A. M. Stern Architects, who is the same designer as the Yacht and Beach Club over at Disney World. So by the time the Newport Bay Club opened here in 1992 with the opening of Disneyland Paris, Robert had already opened two more hotels with a similar design in Disney World. They were opened exactly two years before this one over here, our beloved Newport Bay Club. And that's exactly why when you look at the Newport Bay Club in Disneyland Paris, it might remind you of the Yacht and Beach Club in Florida. Fun fact, by the way, Robert also designed Hotel Cheyenne in Disneyland Paris, which I also have a tour of if you want to check it out. So he doesn't only specialize in New England styled hotels. The view from the front of Newport Bay Club is possibly one of my favorite views. You get to see the pan magic over there lake disney and of course disney's hotel new york all the way back there as well it is quite a wet and cold morning today so that's why it's quite cloudy in the skies also whilst we're here i wanted to mention how easy it is to walk from the hotel to the parks however for the time being they have actually closed this area off because of some renovation works that they are doing i'm not sure when they're going to finish hopefully soon because it's been closed off for a while and that unfortunately means that the quickest route to the parks which would be from there going down this route and then towards the Panorama Magic and then on the left you would find the entrance of Disney Village. For the time being you can't do that. Not to worry though because you do have another way to walk to the parks and that would be from the right hand side of Newport Bay. It's definitely a longer route. You're going to have to go past Sequoia Lodge which is over there all the way down there past uh, New York and then head into Disney Village. Honestly it still doesn't take too long it maybe adds like an extra five minutes to your walk but it's obviously a lot easier and more convenient if the regular walkway is open and hopefully as I mentioned it should open soon. I'm filming this in January of 2022. My assumption is that you know in the next few months it should hopefully be open. In any case if you don't want to walk or have mobility issues there is always the free shuttle bus that you can take as well. You have to go through here and get it from the other side of Newport Bay Club. How gorgeous is everything though I love the blue colors just the pastel colors of this hotel really make me happy and here we've got the main entrance of the hotel as I said earlier if you're coming by car or by uber or by bus your entrance would be on the other side of the hotel but this is if you're coming from Disney Village or the parks and just look how beautiful and grand it looks from this angle the top two floors are reserved for club levels at Newport Bay Club so the seventh and eighth floor I want to say you can find out more information about club levels at Disneyland Paris in a separate video but for now let's enter the Newport Bay Club oh, it's nice and warm here and of course you've got the Disney's Newport Bay Club logo on the bottom as well some hand gel which is always good and then once we come in this is the view that we get so you do need to go up the stairs if you're coming from here because we're currently on the bottom floor and the main reception is actually on the second level so you'd have to just take the stairs here and up you go look at that beautiful view of Panorama Magic Lake Disney and you can see a little bit of Disney's Hotel New York through the window as well we have now just come up through the main uh, entrance of Disney's Newport Bay Hotel and now we're about to go into the lobby or reception it's actually quite quiet time right now because it's afternoon time it's about 2 p.m. so thankfully not very busy if you come here in the morning or like maybe between you know 11 and 1 p.m. 
uh, that area here would be very very busy because loads of people would be checking in to their hotel before we continue the journey just behind me you can see the compass club and that is for compass club members so if you're club level staying at the newport bay hotel that is where you're going to be checking in you've got your own private area it can be very convenient especially during busy times of the year so sometimes the queues for normal check-in can be ridiculous here at newport bay because it's the biggest hotel on disney property so i would recommend that if you have the money if you want to treat yourself it can be worth it just for the check-in alone make sure you subscribe to my channel because in the future hopefully there should be a vlog of me staying compass club level at the newport bay and showing you everything and all the benefits of that that is the other entrance of newport bay hotel so if you're coming um, by car by uber uh, from the airport that is your main entrance that's where you'll be coming through also the park shuttle as well so there is a shuttle bus free um, at the newport bay hotel that will take you to the parks from the hotel and if you want to take the bus to the parks you need to go there i personally don't think you need the bus because the newport bay hotel is so close to the parks that it's probably just like a 10 minute walk i've never actually taken the bus from here anyway here is a look at the lobby the check-in area as you can see very quiet it's midweek today it's a tuesday in january middle of january so maybe that's why as well although when i checked in a couple of days ago it was ridiculously busy and i checked in at around 10 30 11 a.m so it does tend to get busy sometimes just not right now which is good for us because we can have a nice view of it quietly look at these lamps as well the theming at Newport Bay Hotel is beautiful it is so stunning in my opinion there's also hand gels everywhere as you can see on all these tables sometimes they use these tables for extra help extra class members come in to help with check-in when it's really really busy behind me over there you do also have the concierge so that's for your information if you want to book a restaurant or anything like that that's where you would go as you can see, the whole check-in area here is pretty long, so they do have quite a large section covered for check-in because they know it can get very busy. Look how cute the carpet is as well. I love the carpets here at Newport Bay. I mean, I just love the colours of them. Very nautical, very in theme. And then on my right-hand side here, we've got the Bay Boutique, which is the main shop, the main Disney shop at this is Newport Bay Hotel. And it's got some lovely window displays as well. Let's have a look at the displays first before we enter the shop. So we've got Mickey here. You know, it looks like he's um, in his sailing outfit. He's at swimming. Uh, I like the blue colors. We've got the beach life here some seagulls over there and then on the other window over here of course we're going to have Minnie you can't have Mickey without Minnie can you Minnie looks quite interesting though like her eyes I feel like are maybe lacking something maybe it's the fact that she's not got eyelashes I don't know but she's got a lovely dress very like beach lifey dress some more seagulls here we've got Ariel here again very in theme with the whole beach sea vibe with all the displays they've got here and yeah here is the main entrance because of covid they have allocated arrows to make sure you you know enter through a certain entrance and then come out through a different one so here we are we are now in the shop let me just quickly wash my hands first so the newport bay shop like any of the other shops at the disney hotels here offers a variety of things a lot of the classic things that you would need so very basic disneyland paris merchandise they also do have like waters bonjour <laughs> um waters and like some crisp and things like that we are gonna go through most of the shop and show you as much as we can here you've got your classic disney animator dolls over here quite a lot of them oh there's mirabelle as well from the new disney film encanto then we've got some of the plush dolls here snow white ariel cinderella bell and some down below too we've got some classic plushes so minis mickeys plutos i've never understood that pluto over there it's very soft incredibly soft but like it's too white for pluto i feel like it should be a bit more yellow no we've got lots over there so many other classic disney characters fantasia mickey some bigger mickeys down there as well as you can see by the counter here which is closed at the moment because it's not very busy there are some other plushes i really like this alien one this alien pillow which has a price tag of 29.99 euros and i think from what i can see there's a little area on the bottom of him where you can maybe put a battery or something let me try and check yeah there you go i've just opened it there is a section for the battery maybe that's why these are you know rather expensive because 29.99 for a pillow like this is a little bit dear isn't it he is very very soft though adorably soft we've also got pure up there and marie of course 
from the Aristocats over here and then some more plushes of Thumper and Eeyore over there as well. These are the big eyed plushes so very cute. I love all the details of the shops as well. Every shop that you enter in Disneyland Paris, I mean look at that. Just like if you look up, not at the things they're selling but just at the artwork and just the decor of everywhere. It's so nice. I mean again over there some more seagulls. You can see some dresses that you can buy. There's a new one from Encanto again. These dresses can be quite expensive. They're normally about 60 euros or so. So yeah, rather dear. And then here we've got some Ryan the Last Dragon merchandise. Again, I feel like because these are two of the newest Disney films, they have dedicated sections to them for now. Over here we've got some classic souvenirs such as magnets and I want to say like keychains and stuff. I do own this magnet myself. It's on our fridge. I love it. It's the beautiful Sleeping Beauty Castle from Disneyland Paris. And yeah, really, really nice. There are some Marvel magnets up here as well, if that's more your thing. And then some Disneyland Paris logo ones. I really like this one because of like how cool every letter is. So you've got Mike Wazowski here, the incredible stitch. I just think it's very clever the way they've done this. And this is 4.99 euros, as well as Magnus, over here we've got some keychains. These keychains are pretty popular in Disneyland Paris. I remember when there was only a couple of them, when they only had like Mickey and Minnie, and now they have so many different characters, and I absolutely love them. They are uh, 6.99 euros for the most part, and they are adorable. Like, <laughs> I'm so glad that I've, I've stopped collecting things. Like, I, I used to be so bad with collecting things, and at one point, I used to want to collect these as well, but I haven't. Shout out to my friend Rebecca. She loves Tinkerbell. There's Ariel as well. These are adorable. Let me know in the comments if you agree with me. Here are some more queuings over here. These are the letter ones, classic letter ones, which can be really fun. So depending on what your name is, you can get the first letter of your name with Mickey on it. And then there's some pens over here. Pens are big souvenirs here at Disneyland Paris and most Disney parks. This is a fun one. Mickey's hand and it's got Disneyland Paris as well on it. Oh and they still sell these as well. I remember one of you actually asked me if they still sold these. So if you're watching my video right now, they do still sell this. It's a My Disneyland uh, travel notebook and the other side is in French and it's basically got little pages for you to fill in of what you did, you know, adventures that you went on. I think it's quite a cute, you know, cute thing to buy. They also still sell autograph books, which used to be very handy before COVID. Um, you know, something that a lot of people would want to buy before they enter the parks and it would be nice to be able to get them from your hotel. But nowadays you can't get uh, character autographs because character meets are modified now, you know, they're socially distanced for now. Anyway, over here you can see some Toy Story merch. Shout out to Forky. Love of that guy and then the next section is some Marvel Spider-Man stuff so that's covered as well here they have some books which is good so some books for kids La Reine de Neige uh, number 2002 um, there's La Petite Sirene Ariel um, and then some that was like uh, 365 stories and then these are really cool books actually this is the Pirates of the Caribbean one that's Phantom Manor there is also a Space Mountain one but I don't think they're selling it here and then over here oh, there's some princess stories here that's cute and then some more books down there as well let us continue on this shopping adventure there's a mirror here hello that's me i've got a water bottle next to me as well um here there's some oh okay they're selling some hats at the moment because it's january time so winter time these would be useful things i do have this it's a really nice beanie and then there's another one over here there's quite a few actually this mickey mouse one is also quite nice i'm just not the biggest fan of the color of it then over here they have some of the paris je t'aime disneyland merch as well as these very cute Minnie mouse plushes which also say paris je t'aime very cute very french if you like the mini parisian range they do have some more of that here as well in fact you can probably find it almost anywhere in disneyland paris at least right now in 2022 for you lounge fly lovers they have a small selection of lounge place here at the Newport Bay shop so there's a stitch one um, they've had this for a long long time in Paris stitch is really well loved here and then they've got the new Encanto one which is beautiful I really like how the colors pop so much it's such a colorful film and then of course they've got Maleficent on the bottom as well I love the location of the shop because of the windows like there's so much to look at even just from the windows you know not the merchandise but I mean look at that again we've got this beautiful stunning view of Lake Disney you 
know, New York Hotel. And the Panama Magic, it's actually a lovely day as well. Not a lot of clouds in the sky, quite blue, considering it's the middle of January and quite cold. Over here they have some more of the Paris range, this time for Tinkerbell though. These are quite nice ears. I'm not the biggest fan of gold, but I know that a lot of people love these and they are quite popular. The bow's got loads of gold stars on it and um, on the side it does say Disneyland Paris because it's a Disneyland Paris exclusive pair of ears. They actually also sell these Tinkerbell hats from this range, these beanies. Again, with the gold plate on them. These are 22.99 euros and you've got that Disneyland Paris Tinkerbell logo on the front. If you need a suitcase last minute, they do have you covered with that as well. They have some children ones as well as some adult ones. Fun fact, I don't own a Disney suitcase and I don't think I ever will. It's one of those weird things where despite loving Disney so much, I feel like I don't need every single item of my life to be Disney and I already have a suitcase that I've been using for the past three years and it's a pretty good suitcase so I don't know I feel like once this suitcase gets damaged I'm probably just going to switch to another suitcase that is just a generic one and not necessarily Disney but I do love looking at Disney suitcases they are pretty cute. Here we've got the new iridescent range which I think has come from Disney World's 50th anniversary but they sell them in almost all the Disney uh, parks worldwide I want to say so the beautiful lounge fly here it actually does look stunning like it's so sparkly, look at it. Oh my god. <laughs> I almost want it, but it's okay. I'm just glad it's not blue. Like if it was iridescent -y, but with a blue tint of colour, I probably would be more tempted to buy it. But it does look stunning. 80 euros, by the way, in case you are wondering about the price. They also sell the iridescent ears here, which are also really nice. You know, the bow is kind of a bit golden. It's just very sparkly. I like what they've done with it. And then, of course, the spirit jersey. This is an XS. But these are, number one, very heavy, like the material is definitely different to a normal spirit jersey. I feel like it's a bit warmer, it's a bit thicker. And then down below with this area here, now I'm not the biggest fan of it, a lot of people love it. I just don't, I don't, I could do without it. But if you're wondering the price for these, 75 euros, which actually isn't too bad. I feel like they, they're selling these for a higher price, both online and also in the American Disney parks. I feel like in um, Walt Disney World, it's like way over a hundred dollars. I could be wrong. In any case, I feel like 75 euros isn't too much more expensive than the regular spirit jerseys here at Disneyland Paris. So it does make sense. And you've got Disneyland Paris on the back. And it's actually, it's, it's nice. I mean, this is a nice spirit jersey. I'm just not the biggest fan of the bottom area and also the fact that it's like thicker just confuses me a little bit anyway as we make our way I have also found some very in theme merchandise so like sailor merchandise this one is a hoodie 55.99 euros it does say Disneyland Paris on the front it's a zip-up hoodie as well and on the back oh that's cute you've got Disneyland Paris with mini and an anchor very cute. If a hoodie is not your vibe, they also have a t-shirt with a similar kind of vibe. So Minnie is looking beautiful there. It says Disneyland Paris and the kind of beach vibe, sailor vibes on it as well. We're going to continue our journey here. We've got a stitch section because stitch is everywhere. Um, enjoy every moment. This is, I want to say, a pencil case maybe. You've got a bum bag with stitch as well. I mean, this is nice. Don't get me wrong. This is a very nice um, denim jacket. Uh, it says yeah enjoy every moment like I said you can also get the stitch scarf the scarves are up there and then I want to say some stitch t-shirts perhaps yeah again enjoy every moment again stitch here on a bag stitch is doing very well for himself he is literally everywhere in this land Paris right next to stitch there's a villain section which is mainly Maleficent I want to say there's a Maleficent coat here whoa i have never seen this before in my life let's have a look at the price okay rather expensive 120 euros but i mean it's a full-on coat so i kind of understand it and it's very nicely embroidered look at that that is nice does it have anything on the back nope nothing on the back but it's quite heavy so i, I assume it would keep you warm comes with this nice scarf as well it doesn't come with it but you can buy the scarf separately again like with the stitch one i like um the lining inside of this as well lord have mercy this is a really nice coat disneyland paris has really upped its game in terms of merchandise like that is good quality in my opinion anyway over here we have a selection of ears which is always handy especially if you've just arrived and you haven't brought any ears with you and you want to buy something before you head into the parks you can get them 
at your hotel shop they have different colors this one's my favorite they also have the obviously um, gold one that I showed you earlier the classic uh, Mickey one classic mini and then you can also get the Mickey hands as well Mickey and mini hands which again is something that I've always wanted to get but I just know it will it won't be handy like I won't make much use of them but I love seeing people with them in the parks they're so much fun and then here is what I mentioned earlier so they do have little areas where they sell snacks you know crisps and stuff not a lot but just very basic things so there's some lace crisps over here different flavors some Doritos down below as well you can also get some little plastic cups and these are also nice I actually got myself one of these last night because I wasn't feeling very well so I had to cancel a reservation I was meant to eat somewhere and I just couldn't go <laughs> but I needed some food so I just got this and that was my dinner for the night and then over here you can also get some chocolates you know there's some lion uh, Kit Kat as well, but I like the Kinder ones the best probably. Kinder's one of my favorite chocolates up there. And also you can get some candy floss as well if you wish to from your hotel shop. As well as these cute uh, popcorn buckets with some popcorn in them. Here is a look at the prices by the way. Some of them can be significantly more expensive than if you were to get the same items from a regular supermarket. So just beware. And then we're going to continue going round. Look at the carpet by the way, very nice. But this is the main event here. Look at Mickey. Sailor Mickey, love him. Really cool. And some seagulls, I want to say, on top as well. I just love the vibe of this hotel. The colors, the nautical theming, the blues. You know, I love blue so much. And then here they have some more Paris merch. Again, the generic Paris merch. So the Eiffel Tower with Mickey figurine. There's a Remy one down below as well, because obviously Ratatouille, set in Paris, set in France, so it makes sense to have it. And yeah, that's basically an overview of this area over here. There are a couple of more things I want to show you before we leave the shop. And one of them is, of course, the pin section. Hotel shops aren't going to have the bigger selection of pins, but they normally tend to have at least a few. And some of them can be very cute. I mean, these ones I've not seen before. Minnie is looking very cute in a unicorn onesie. This is a Disneyland Paris exclusive pin. They've got some Beauty and the Beast ones. <laughs> Look at that. Pascal. Oh, the stitch ones. They've got loads of stitch ones. There's one of him saying sorry. I don't know what he's sorry for. Is he being sorry for being too cute? Who knows, but there's so many of them. They also have a happy birthday pin here, which there doesn't seem to be a lot of them left actually, only one. But this is a good present if you're celebrating your birthday or just like a, something to treat yourself with. These two pins I absolutely adore and I actually had to buy both of them last night when I came to grab myself some snacks when I got those um, crisps. I also spotted these and I had to buy them. There is a small world pins as you can see. But like this one's got Dale and Chip or Chip and Dale. This one's got Goofy and oh, it's just adorable. And then up there they still sell some of the Pride ones, which is good. You can also get some lanyards for your pins if you want to, if you want to do some pin training. That Olaf one is pretty cute. And they've got a Pandora selection here as well. Now I'm not personally into this at all, but I thought I would show it to you in case you're somebody who has a Pandora charm or necklace or just enjoys collecting these Pandora charms from every holiday that you go to. Okay, here's a better look at them as well. They've got one more display as well. There's a castle one over there. There's Walt and Mickey. Don't get me wrong, these are adorable. They're very, very cute. Just not my thing personally, but I enjoy looking at them and seeing them on others as well. They do also sell some mugs as well. These ones I feel like are quite popular. These um, kind of rose gold Disneyland Paris ones. One side has Disneyland Paris, the other side has this beautiful logo of the castle. And then you can also get some tea towels over here. This one's quite nice, it says Disneyland Paris. Also some more mugs over here as well. And then these mugs I've never seen before, Bella Notte. They're cute, aren't they? But that's basically it with the Newport Bay shop. So we're gonna leave the shop now and continue our tour or the rest of the hotel. Anyway, so as I showed you earlier, that is the concierge and right next to it, we are gonna go through to the east wing. There are two sides of the hotel, the east wing and the west wing. I'm actually staying in the west wing myself. Uh, my room's on the west wing on this trip, but the pool is on this side and I wanted to show you everything that is going on here, such as this area here, which is just a relaxing area. So somewhere that I've actually never really checked out myself properly, but you can see some nice mirrors, some lovely artwork 
some chairs there's a chimney as well again just a the theming very nice but i feel like this is just a lot like quiet area that if you just want to chill in especially when it's busy you can come and sit down here you can maybe do some work if you wish to carrying on from there we have the lifts over here or the ascensor or elevators if you are from america we are currently on the second floor by the way um and yeah this is the east wing as i said so if your rooms are on the east side these are the lifts that you would use to get to your rooms i still love the carpets very nice and of course they always make sure to have hand sanitizer almost everywhere you go but what we're looking for right now is the pool so we are gonna carry on this way i've actually never been to the pool at newport bay hotel or any of the hotels in disneyland paris i've stayed at all the disneyland paris hotels and yet i've never used any of their pools i'm just not the kind of person who needs to use a pool when they're on holiday on a disney holiday especially in paris but if you like going to the pool when you're on disneyland paris this is where you need to go we're just gonna open the door very quickly oh this place is nice the blues of the wallpaper here reminds me a bit of the blues in the bathrooms in the rooms at Newport Bay which I'm going to show you later on as well also my voice is definitely very echoey right now right we've just come out of that little hallway we've come down one level the swimming pool is on the bottom floor I want to say because there are still signs telling us to go that way so we are learning about the swimming pool's location together at the same time well we have found the pool this is the entrance of the pool the Nantucket pool is called it's open from 7 a.m. until 10 p.m. and there's, these are the rules and regulations that you need to read if you want to use the pool this is the entrance it's a beautiful entrance actually i'm really glad that thanks to this vlog oh look at the sign i've decided to come and have a quick look at it everything is very blue uh, that's the reception that's where you would get some towels etc some more hand sanitizer over there as well now as always with these tours i'm not actually going to go inside the pool because i don't want to film anybody who might be in the pool who might not want to be filmed so instead i'm going to try and put a photo here of what the pool looks like i thought whilst we're here though i would also quickly show you the fitness room or the gym because they do have one here the fitness room is open again from 7 a.m to 10 p.m it's on the same level as the piscine or the pool they're literally almost right next to each other so again these are some of the regulations that you need to go inside here there's some information on the main door as well you do need to have a car you need to be staying here to go there also the same with the pool so you can't you know use the gym here or the pool if you're not staying at the newport bay hotel thankfully we are staying here though so i'm just gonna quickly tap this there you go it's gone green so we can have hopefully a quick look at the gym wow okay so this is quite a big gym actually as far as hotel gyms go and disney hotel gyms in particular look loads of treadmills over here they're showing football i want to say over there as well some more machines here sport machines sorry if i'm not very good at describing these you can tell that i don't go to the gym often obviously there's some music in the background as well so that's why i'm trying to talk over it because otherwise copyright is going to be a big thing they also do have over here a selection of snacks that you can buy so a vending machine with some drinks some water some little snacks some protein bars as well i like how they've located the treadmills and the bike machines as well because you've got a lovely view of lake disney in front of you like you can literally see kind of panoramagic as you're doing your exercises so that's definitely quite a clever way of getting people to exercise more i feel like i would do it if i could have like a beautiful view like this in front of me i mean look at that hopefully you can see it over here there you go through the window you've got this lovely view dance 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 sorry i clearly can't sing but i just uh i'm enjoying the music here i've just noticed the scale here as well so if you want to weigh yourself you can definitely do that right as much as i would just love to stay here and pretend that i'm this fit incredible person who exercises constantly i feel like we should carry on with the tour so i'm gonna leave now okay we're back in the main reception now by the check-in area and as you can see it's gotten a little bit busier just in the past half an hour or so i did want to also show you this area over here with that little captain section so every now and again especially in the evening times i want to say maybe from about 7 p.m onwards you can meet either mickey or minnie in their sailor outfits just over here of course it's going to be a socially distanced meet because of the fact that we're still in the pandemic but they have given you a little space to stand as well so you can't get too close to them but it's cool that they do this it's just bringing more magic into the hotels having characters here is always fun i did get to meet minnie last night so we're gonna go to a clip from last night right now so you can see how beautiful her outfit was hello minnie Bonsoir. how are you lovely to see you loving your outfit very nautical <laughs> how's mickey doing is he good 
Oh, good, good to know. But now that we're back right in the centre of the hotel, in the middle section, we are now going to go to the other side, which is the West Wing, and this is also where my room is located. So we can have a look at other stuff in the hotel, including my wonderful room, which I can't wait to show you. Already you can see some cool things here, such as these ships and boats everywhere to do with the theming of the Newport Bay Hotel. Over here we actually have their bar. It's called the Captain Porter's Bar. It's not open right now. It does open later on though. So from uh, 17 o'clock, from 5 p.m. until midnight are the opening hours here. They serve some alcoholic beverages as well as some hot drinks, as you can see, espresso, etc. Oh yeah, over here we've got a better menu, a more extensive menu. So some spirits, some cocktails, some fresh drinks, some hot drinks over here as well so you can definitely get hot chocolate if you don't want to get anything alcoholic it does look like a cool bar i've never actually been inside it but here is kind of what it looks like i feel like it's quite a nice calming environment with some you know lovely chairs and all the lovely ship details and sea details around it as well i mean if just the outside of it is anything to go by i feel like the inside is going to be really nice as well look at the theming for captain quarters i mean look at these America's Cup winner. These are some of the different, I want to say boat designs from different years. This is almost like a museum. Please do let me know in the comments down below if you've ever been to this bar, if you've gone there to have a drink or a little snack. I'd love to know what you thought of it. They do also have these lovely blue, pretty soft sofas here, right under those little boats. And then on the opposite side, we've got the Compass Club Lounge. So if you're staying club level, you can go in there, you can have your breakfast in there. Oh, it looks beautiful, actually. Again, make sure to stay tuned because there will be a video coming up of all of this to show you all the Compass Club level benefits that you can get if you're staying here. But sadly, on this trip, I'm not staying club level, so the Compass Club Lounge is gonna have to wait for a separate video later on. For now, we have some more lovely boats to look at on our way here. There's some more over here, and here's a better look at the bar as well. So you can see it's quite a big bar actually, quite spacious. You can see the actual bar area over there with the drinks. The chairs look really nice, very comfortable. Anyway, let's continue our journey looking at these lovely paintings and then getting here to the west wing side of the elevators. These ones over here are actually brown. I noticed the ones on the other side were blue. The doors were blue anyway. Before I take you up to see my room, I thought I'd quickly show you this little area around the corner as well. They do have a convention center here, but it's currently closed, but it's still a nice area. So there you go, it does say here, the convention center is closed, but I just love this area because of all the lights and also some more artworks over here that you can enjoy looking at. They also have another display over here with some of the items from the shops and the prices as well so you can get an idea of what you can expect in the shop but yeah look at these windows and the light coming through from them i absolutely love it i'm just so glad that it's such a beautiful day today because this is just so so lovely and this whole space just again with some photos they've got here of different i'm, I'm guessing important ships and boats and yeah, just a nice little area to walk through. And that over there, as you can see, is a sign for the convention center. Here is a place called the Portland Exhibition Hall. You've got a cashier area over here as well. Some nice carpets everywhere. This place is big. If you didn't know, Newport Bay Hotel is the main Disneyland Paris hotel for conventions and business things as well. So that's why it's so big. That's why they have a convention center. It's so huge as well. I mean, look at this. Look at the ceiling at first and then the walls as well. Look at these artworks of different boats. There's a map over there. Sun is shining through as well. There's a reception here. Oh, this place is lovely and really, really massive for when they have events going on at the Newport Bay Hotel. There's a cloakroom area here as well, as you can see, and some more artwork up above. And then here, I'm going to quickly show you that globe over there because it's just, it's very fascinating to me. And some more things to look at everywhere as well. So cool. And then, yeah, here you go. We've got this beautiful, pretty big globe. There you go. Here's a slightly better look at it. It is pretty sunny, so not the best lighting but yeah there you go that's the convention center area of the Newport Bay Hotel and just look how bright the sun is shining right now I can't even see anything also how cool is that this model of a ship really nice very cool details right I had too much fun exploring this side of the Newport Bay Hotel it's somewhere that I've never been to before but now let's go back to the elevators and go up to my room okay we are back on the west wing side of the lifts 
let's just press the button and go upstairs there you go we are through so we're on the second floor right now as i mentioned the main lobby is here i am on the fourth floor so one thing about the lifts is that they're quite old so sometimes you have to press multiple times for it to actually work unfortunately even the mirror in the lift has some details on it though look at that and looks like we're already here on the fourth floor firstly how cute is that little vase over there I love the white and blue details on it. Very nice. Anyway, one thing that I've always stressed in my videos about the New Port Bay Hotel at Disneyland Paris is that because it's such a big hotel, like I said, the biggest hotel in Disneyland Paris, it's got loads of rooms, which means that you might have to walk quite a lot from the reception to your room, depending on where your room is. So at the moment, I'm on level four and my room number is number 4112 and it's quite a journey to get there it's not the longest journey there are some rooms that are even further away and honestly for me it's not a problem whatsoever but for the purpose of this video i thought i would time it so you can see exactly how long it takes for me to get from the lifts to my room which is number 4112 here you go here's the timer i'm gonna start it and here we go So here we are, room number 4112, and I've just stopped the timer. Two minutes and 39 seconds it took for us to get to this room from the elevators. So as I said, just be aware if you're staying at the Newport Bay Hotel that your walk to your room could be quite long. I did the walk in two minutes and about 39 seconds, as you saw, but I'm quite a fast walker and I it's, it's just me, I'm on my own. If I was with my family, if I had kids with me, it could take even longer. So it's definitely worth maybe asking at the reception or when you book your hotel, just you know emailing them to let them know that you would prefer a room closer to the reception. Of course, they can never guarantee this but it's worth asking anyway Disney always tries their best to accommodate you anyway so room number 4112 we've got our ticket with us again the magic pass let's go in there and have a quick look okay we are in the room here's a little map on the door as well if you're curious about the location of your room so when you first enter the room the first thing that you have is of course the bathroom it can either be located on your left in my case or on your right depending on which room you're in so we're going to go to the bathroom first firstly as you can see they've got these curtains and that's kind of how they distinguish between the bathroom and the rest of the room there's no actual door but that's fine not a problem um, now we are in the bathroom as you can see you get one sink only and then this mirror over here hello you've got these lights at the top you've got a hairdryer which isn't the best or strongest hairdryer but I mean it does the job at the end of the day you've got your sink of course you know some little amenities here as well so a soap over here and also some uh, baby balm interesting and then they put these in plastic at the moment because of the fact that it's covid and it's safer this way on the bottom of the sink you have some tissues over here and then just some little storage areas which is basically empty but quite a lot of room if you wanted to put anything in there on the opposite side of the sink you have this section here with an iron and an iron board some hangers if you wish to hang your clothes uh, quite a big safe actually over here as well and then I think these are baby cots up there. So if you need them, you can definitely use them. And of course, some more storage for your suitcases or anything else that you wish to put there. Then we enter through a door to go to the toilet. By the way, there's another mirror behind me as well. That's very weird. Um, there you go. We are now in the actual toilet slash bathroom area. So I'm just gonna close the door because it's not very big. There you go. That's the door that I just kind of half closed. You've got some hangers up there. That's the toilet, nothing too special. Um, the blue vibes though, I quite like the blue tiles here. Really enjoy the colors of it. In fact, the whole bathroom is very blue themed, which I enjoy. You've got this little area here where you can sit, I guess. You can relax. Uh, it's probably quite convenient if you have kids and if you're helping, you know, wash your kids, you can maybe just have a sit here. And then you've got the bath here and the shower. It is an actual bath, as you can see. So if you're somebody who enjoys taking baths, you definitely can you've got the shower head here as well some shampoo and body wash over here and then they also do still give you those little ones as well the h2o um, shampoos and conditioners etc also loads of towels over here as you can see and of course you can always ask for more if you need them but there you go that was the bathroom nothing too special but i do like the blue tiling of it now we're finally going to have a look at this mirror it's a full-length mirror right at the start of the room so 
that's the door over here that was the entrance and i think it's good to have a full length mirror in every single room especially disney rooms because it's nice to just have a look at your outfit i mean i definitely do not look my best at the moment i'm actually also quite warm because it's cold outside but in my room i've made it quite warm so i'm now quite hot but there you go full length mirror here and then from the mirror you get to the main room over here so before i show you the details i just thought i'd first show you a quick look at the room so you can kind of get an overview of it it's a lovely room really nice love the beds love the carpets and of course you've got the window over there now i have been lucky enough to have stayed at the newport bay hotel several times so i do have some other tour videos of the newport bay rooms as well different rooms that i've stayed at some with a lakeside view as well so if you want to check those out i will leave the link down below because you might get a better idea of what the rooms look like this is just one room in the hotel different ones might be a little bit different might offer different views might be a bit bigger a little bit smaller depending on what level it is but for now the first thing we need to do <laughs> is to put the temperature down i think i was just a little bit paranoid last night so i put the temperature up so you can obviously control the temperature in your room which is nice i'm going to put it down to maybe like 19 can we go down to 19 okay 20 is still better than what i had on which was 24 um the carpets here are very cute and you can see some little hidden mickeys on them as well very nice details and then we have the bed here two beds um very cute i love that little headboard over there with the mickey so so sweet and then we've also got this cushion with the kind of nautical vibes again on it as well as four pillows on each bed the beds are very very comfortable by the way really nice and you can see kind of the blue area below them as well in the middle of the beds you have your telephone so if you want to call reception the restaurant or anything else you can do so here you also have a little notepad over here it's not specific to newport bay it just says disney hotels but it's still something cool and you can keep this if you wish to you also have the remote for the tv which i have not used at all and then under here there's just some free space again if you have a lot of stuff with you you can put your things there and then you also have this little drawer as well you do get two bedside lamps for each bed which is very convenient they have an anchor on them nice details so this is basically how you'll turn them on there you go they are turned on now very useful and then one of my favorite things about the newport bay rooms are actually like the wallpapers because look at them <laughs> look how cute they are you've got goofy there he's looking overly excited but that's just goofy for you some water and then some more details over here and then mickey mouse himself look at him captain mickey and then we carry on and you've got donald down there as well and then some more water and then of course we get to the window here but before i show you the view i thought i'd quickly show you this other bed as well they're both the exact same the exact same beds the exact same headboards exact same amount of pillows on them as well but you do get a little bit of space next to this one as well so if you want to put anything here you know if you're kind of sharing this room with multiple people i guess i suppose this room can have four people in it because they're two double beds and you can share beds if you wish to also i just want to show you that as well that's one of the plugs here uh, at newport bay it's it's a standard European one so you do need an adapter I've bought one that kind of can attach different ones to it because I knew that the Newport Bay isn't the best for plugs it's still better than Disney Sequoia Lodge though in terms of the amount of plugs they have because Sequoia Lodge hasn't been upgraded hasn't been you know renovated in quite a few years so they haven't managed to put new plugs in it hopefully they will soon though anyway let's check out my view and I actually really enjoy this view considering this is a standard room I didn't pay for a room with a view by any means I still think the view is pretty cool. I mean, look at that. Can you spot Tower of Terror over there? That is so cool. That's kind of like the side of it, like not from the very front, but almost like at an angle. Looks so cool though. You can also see just kind of a lot of Walt Disney Studios Park. You can see the Eiffel Tower over there as well um and the fantasia hat it's awesome definitely not what i expected when i came to this room and you've got the parking as well so obviously it's not like the nicest of rooms in terms of like the view that you get you're not having a view of the lake disney or the panorama magic or anything like that but for somebody who loves disney so much and i love tower of terror this is still an awesome view so of course you've got tower of terror over there and then down here you've also got some water this isn't lake disney it's just a little lake i want to say but it's nice. I mean, I'm so happy with this view, honestly. I feel very, very lucky to have this view. I wish I could stay here forever. This is so nice. By the way, you can open the window ever so slightly. So as you can see, I've, I've opened it just a little bit. That's as much as it opens, just because I wanted to get some fresh air in here. And obviously, if you want to close it, you just do that. You press it, and there you go. 
now it's closed right i'm going to close the curtains a little bit now so you can have a look at the curtains as well they are very much again nautical themed they go very well with the carpets and everything else in the room and then over here we've got a little desk which i put my laptop on and then you also get this seat as well if you want to work this is actually really convenient it's a pretty nice chair as well and um, on top of that desk you have a mirror so this can also be a good place for you to maybe do your makeup if you want to. I know that when I was here with my friend Daisy once back in 2017, I want to say, 2018, my friend Daisy used uh, this area to put her makeup on. So that's convenient. You also have a lamp on as well at the top. So that's also nice. I love how you can see the little Mickey headboard in the mirror right now from this angle. Anyway, so that is the desk. You also do get given this little thing over here. So it's basically just some information about the hotel. It says Newport Bay Club. And then if you over here, if you want to have breakfast, you can basically choose what time you want to, etc. These are the timings that you can choose from, from 7 a.m. until 11 is when breakfast is served here. Um, what is this? Okay, that is like a questionnaire I want to say, so I might fill that out later on. And then you also get given a lovely Disney's Newport Bay Club card. So that's cool, a little postcard. That's a nice little souvenir that, you know, you can have for free if you're staying here. Also very quickly in terms of plugs, they do have a couple of more plugs here. These are European ones and they have one English one. So I'm just going to take this out. As you can see here, if you're coming from the UK, they do have one UK plug here. No USB ones, unfortunately, but even the fact that they have one UK one does help out a lot, doesn't it? Carrying on from there, we also have another chair here, very similar to the one that I showed you. I've got all my stuff here. There. That's my coat. That's my bag. So sorry about that. Bit messy. And then of course, in the middle, we have the TV. It's not the biggest TV, again, because of the fact that Newport Bay Hotel was last renovated in 2016. So things aren't quite as modern in this hotel just yet but I mean I don't think anybody really uses TVs anymore anyway I certainly don't I'm more of a laptop person you also do get given this some drinks every night so that's really really good as somebody who loves water I drink water a lot it's nice that they give you bottled Vitel water every single day so when housekeeping comes they um, add two new ones to you and these are free these are basically part of your room you don't have to pay extra for them you also get some glasses as well and then a little ice bucket so you can get some mice if you wish to here's another overview of the tv section here sorry about the mess by the way i thought i'd show you these little pins by the way that i you know i spotted in the shop i told you i bought them yesterday there you go i also got some of those kinder chocolate ones but i've still got some left and then over here this is interesting you do get some well this is a kettle so you have a kettle you get some little cups here and then i want to say a selection of tea so that's tea over there some uh, tisane and then some milk as well if you want some milk in your tea so not like the most extensive of options oh you got sugar over there as well but yeah you do have some options if you just want to make yourself some tea in the room which is definitely nice i'm going to close this now and then down below over here you have loads of storage room like a lot as you can see they're all empty i really do not need them but if you're coming for a longer stay oh what's that interesting there's something in here i was about to say if you're coming for a longer stay or with a big group of people you can definitely store your things in there um i've just put my suitcase here lord have mercy quite a bit of a mess as well you also have a bin down there but that is basically it as far as the room goes as i said my favorite thing about the room is probably the details on top just so cute overall i've been satisfied with my stay here every time i've stayed at the newport bay hotel i have enjoyed my stay you know the rooms are nicely themed they're clean as well although having said that there's one thing that i spotted on this day that i just want to point out in case you know you want to know so over there i'm not sure how well you can see but there's definitely something you know hanging on there whether it's um you know a spider web or just some dust whatever it is it's there and it's just hanging from the ceiling and uh, the, the wall over here on the left so there's some space down there so I would say one thing I guess that's a little bit negative that I've only spotted on this particular stay is that that area over there isn't fully cleaned but I feel like if I asked them they would happily clean it and I personally don't mind because as far as I can tell it's probably either just some cobwebs or some dust because at the end of the day it's an old hotel it's been around for a long long time and it hasn't been renovated for a while 
so it's probably just some dust if it was something from another guest like some hair from another guest or something a lot more dirty I would probably find it a bit more annoying and I would probably say something but with this I'm happy I haven't mentioned it at all to anybody because I'm okay with it it really doesn't bother me all I need is a clean bed and the beds are clean and very comfortable but I did want to mention it because I want to be as transparent as possible in this videos and hopefully this will help somebody you know you might find it annoying so if you do it's good to be aware that it can happen even at Disney's Newport Bay Hotel which is a four-star hotel but here's another last look at the hotel room there you go we've got the two beds you can also get rooms with only one bed and then the bed would be a little bit bigger than the ones here so it'd be more like a king size bed whereas these ones are double but that's more or less it for the room the whole tour hasn't finished though I still have a couple of things to show you including the restaurant so make sure to like the video if you've enjoyed it so far and I will see you in a bit it is time to go and check out the downstairs area and the two restaurants now but whilst we're here I thought I would also mention that if you're staying at any of the Disneyland Paris resorts with your card with your magic pass that you, they give you oh let me just make sure I'm going the right way basically um, for every night that you're staying you get I think two or three drinks free so they've got these machines around the hotel and you can get a hot drink for free so that's definitely a bonus we are back in the lift now going down to level two and from there we're going to go down to the first floor which is where the restaurants are there you go some more hand gel here and the sign here says reception and restaurants on this side so we've already covered all of this this is where the lounge is the club lounge and then um, the bar on the left hand side as well in fact let's have a quick look at the bar because it will be open now there you go you can see some people here waiting to go into the bar we're not going to go in it right now but you can get a glimpse of what it looks like there you go this is the one side of it so nice atmosphere and then they actually serve some cakes pastries ice creams some salad as well by the looks of it as well really lovely place anyway back to the restaurant so to go to the restaurant you have to come back into the main area so the center of the hotel i want to say this is where you would come in or if you're coming through from the park you would come from the other side we do have mickey chilling here as well hi mickey how are you you look so cool oh love this sailor mickey i saw minnie the other day as well she said hi of course <laughs> Nice to see you, what a lovely surprise. Well, that was amazing. We randomly got to see Mickey as well. Last night we saw Minnie, you would have seen her earlier in the vlog. But yeah, to go to the restaurants, we have to go downstairs from here to the ground floor. So here you go, this is the way that we came up from earlier in the vlog as well. And already I can smell the food, like seafood, because both the restaurants here, both the Yacht Club and Cape Cod are mainly seafood restaurants. So you do have a sign here for both of the restaurants here. Cape Cod is a buffet restaurant, and then uh, the Yacht Club is a sit down meal it's a little bit more expensive than Cape Cod you can see the menu over here I have actually eaten at the Yard Club before and I've made a separate video for it so if you want to see me eat at the Yard Club restaurant and see exactly what kind of food they offer and what the environment is like I'll leave the link down below so you can check it out but this would be the entrance to the Yard Club really delicious food spoiler alert really enjoyed it I would definitely eat there again and then round on the opposite side over there we've got Cape Cod which is an all-you-can-eat buffet restaurant a little bit cheaper generally speaking uh, than the Yacht Club but also really good especially if you love seafood but even if you don't they do have other options as well again I do have a separate video on Cape Cod as well so if you want to check that out I'll leave the link down below to that as well look how beautiful the Newport Bay Hotel looks in the dark as well with all the twinkly lights around it just uh, next to Lake Disney it's just such a peaceful calming scene what we're looking at right now and we've got Panorama Gic in the dark as well also looking very very magical right next to Disney Village over here they have actually put some benches over here as well because they know how beautiful the scene is so if you want to you can literally sit down here I'm gonna kind of demonstrate right now you can sit here and just relax and you have this lovely view of Panorama Magique Lake Disney you've got Sequoia Lodge on your left hand side but more than anything you've got the beautiful Newport Bay Hotel in the dark so beautiful but that is it that is the end of this video I hope you enjoyed the tour of Disney's Newport Bay Hotel behind me it's one of my favorite hotels here for sure I mean I love every hotel here but Newport Bay tends to be one that I really really enjoy like especially enjoy and it's one that I don't get to stay at often because it's a bit more expensive than some of the other ones like uh, Cheyenne and Santa Fe but every time I do get to stay here I really really appreciate it and of course it's always cool to see Panorama Magic as well anyway if you have any questions 
questions about this hotel, about this Newport Bay Hotel, or any comments or anything that you would like to share with me, feel free to leave a comment down below and subscribe for more videos like this. I do also have more in-depth tour videos of some of the other Disneyland Paris hotels in the resort, so feel free to check those out as well. Also follow me on Instagram if you wish to, and thank you so much for watching. As always, I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.